kani kedai ke Batu Si TV. Bat pidang pet ya ke kubur baman kesni. Belawan rasa pi tak ke umrupa. Ringkat bat ke Orange Nissan. Lom sok po near Fire Brigade Ground, Shillong. Nissan Kicks. Bookings open now. Ka Sorkar MDA belalam kemat do Menteri Rangba. U Konrad ke Sangma. Hakah nriu terik luber arah jarkat kendai kelai kendu alang. Baniatai lor kikam kiba ke Sorkar ke lalak men pendep. Hak ini ke Shisnem ke Bapura. Haba keren hagi lak pasai kubur Menteri Rangba ke jelau lopen pau. Ba hak ini ke Shisnem ke Sorkar ke lalak banuan rak ya bun ke development. Ni ke roi kepar nak bentai ke pat bak. La kedai halor ke lenti ke sengkin ke surok hak rep keriang ke pulih ke putih ke umbam umdi bat kiwe kiwe de ke pang. This program or this function today is not a celebration, it is another day in governance. But completing one year, it is important for us to look back and realize what are the things we have done and maybe more importantly, what are the things we have not been able to do. So more importantly, as I said, to decide on how we will move forward. So therefore, uh, uh, we had a very small program and uh, where the senior officials and the cabinet colleagues were here. We discussed about the different uh, points that have been uh, there in this report, and we have uh, we're going to be sharing this report with all of you and with the people in general. In the last uh, one year, as was promised in the uh, in the beginning, also that we have come out with an education policy after detailed discussions, and uh, the education policy has been implemented in different aspects and different points. <coughs> At the same time, uh, many other infrastructure projects have taken place. More notably, uh, we have uh, two model colleges that have come up, or they've been sanctioned for Patarkama and for Rongjing. And we have our Eklavia model of residential schools. Out of the 50 sanctions for the entire country, 11 of them were sanctioned for Meghalaya. In the health sector, and again, another very important social sector, we have come up with the mega health insurance phase four and uh, this has been launched where almost all the families uh, in Meghalaya state will be covered and uh, the amount of the coverage has also been increased to five lakhs and uh, as you're aware that uh, different kind of uh, services will be covered under this we also have sanctioned a state-of-the-art diagnostic center which is coming up in uh, in Shillong and this has been done through NESETS, uh, Government of India Donor Ministry. At the same time, uh, you are aware that uh, uh, upgradation of uh, civil hospital in Tura including installation of CT scan has been done in Shillong, uh, in Tura uh, civil hospital. Uh, in the road sector, a uh, lot of achievements have been uh, achieved in the last one year. Uh, in 2018-19, uh, the sanction for PMGSY uh, increased fourfold from last year 2017-18 uh, from an amount of about 220 odd crores. Uh, this financial year there has been a sanction of 1050 crores under the PMGSY scheme. Under the Central Road Fund, there has been a major increase in the sanction from an amount of 60 to 70 crores in the previous year, uh, in this financial year, the sanction has gone up to over 320 crores. Uh, at the same time, we have not been able to get the official uh, uh, sanction letter yet, but uh, we are working on improving the national highways uh, and uh, work is in very advanced stage where uh, sanction for uh, roads uh, for national highway improvement will be done in a very short time. Under public health engineering, as you are aware, we have uh, under the NESET uh, scheme, which is donor ministry, we have increased, we have a uh, current uh, sanction and the foundation stone in fact was laid. Sanction was made about 10 days back by the donor ministry for a 35 crore water augmentation program in Tura and also a 25 crore water augmentation program in Sora. Apart from that, other smaller uh, projects uh, from the state schemes have been implemented in different parts of the state. Under the power department, as you are all aware, uh, the Ujwala Assurance Yojana program is being implemented at an amount of 125 crores. 
At the same time, uh, the Sobhagya scheme also implementation is going on where we intend to electrify each and every household in the state. Uh, under the Water Resource Department, uh, we had a sanction of over 300 crores in the last financial year, in this financial year, I'm sorry, where different irrigation schemes are being taken up. This is one of the highest sanctions the department has received in the last few years. At the same time, under the tourism department, uh, the schemes that were implemented in the first phase of uh, Sudesh Chashan have been completed and a new sanction of 85 crores for, Sohag, for uh, Sudesh Chashan has also been taken up in this financial year and have been sanctioned by Government of India already. Under the CNRA department, uh, we have touching almost 1000 crores in terms of the implementation of NRGS and I'm happy to inform you that Meghalaya state is one of the highest performing states when it comes to NRGS uh, scheme uh, at the national level also. As you're aware, under agriculture and horticulture and animal husbandry and fisheries, we have been able to make a lot of uh, uh, you know, forward uh, movement. Uh, you're aware that um, the milk mission uh, has been launched and the milk mission uh, in Meghalaya will be investing uh, almost close to 200 uh, and 15 crores will be invested in the milk mission. Another scheme for a piggery value chain has also been proposed and another uh, that will be amounting to about 200 crores will be invested in that. Uh, we have also started the missions for Lakadong mission uh, which is an investment of 75 crores, the jackfruit mission an investment of 80 crores, the mushroom mission with an investment of 50 crores uh, have al already been started. Uh, another big achievement uh, for the government was uh, the proper implementation of the I-teams, that is the call center for the uh, farmers. Almost 17,000 farmers are registered and almost close to 4 lakh metric tons of goods have been transported over a distance of 54,000 kilometers in the last one year itself. Uh, Directorate of Food Processing has been inaugurated and this is a very important step as you know. Uh, food processing is one very important aspect in the agriculture sector which was neglected in the last year last few years but now we have got a specific focus on that and we plan to take those that sector forward so apart from that as i said there are many other areas in the fisheries sector also we have uh, started the aquaculture mission too and uh, an investment of uh, uh, investment of 377 crores in the next five years uh, is going to be implemented and uh, already 94 crores has been sanctioned for that particular project in fisheries. Uh, my friends, having said that, uh, uh, as I said, I'm not here to uh, make claims that we have done uh, everything in one year. Uh, that is obviously not possible. Uh, we have a lot of challenges ahead. One year has been uh, a lot of challenges we have faced, but uh, we have given our 100% as a team. Uh, the bureaucrats as well as the cabinet and all the uh, partners of the MD have worked um, you know, tirelessly to ensure that we take the state forward. And there have been many challenges, but I can assure you that we are up to the challenges and we will work towards ensuring that we achieve the goals that we have in mind. Um, there are many things to look forward to and uh, through the next uh, one year, uh, we will do our best to ensure that we are able to uh, fulfill all the, uh, will fulfill the other um, other promises as well as move forward in different sectors so that we can take a state forward. What um, we'd like to say is that uh, everything that the government is doing in terms of development or the social sectors or the agriculture sector, tourism sector is ultimately with the goal of creating jobs. So there is no one thing that we can say that we're doing to create the jobs. Whether it's the milk mission, whether it's the Lakadong mission, whether it's a Swadesh Darshan, whether it's the programs for the, uh, the IT park, every single project that we're doing is working towards economic development, which ultimately will lead to job creation. We have realized that in the coming years, that means 5 to 10 to 15 years, the country and the Meghalaya state also is going to see a huge inflow of young people that are going to come into the job market. And therefore, as a government, it is our responsibility to plan for the next five years, ten years, realizing those challenges. And therefore, looking at only the government to create the jobs would not be the right policy. 
Government, that is why, has realized that entrepreneurship is the way forward. Agriculture sector, tourism sector, food processing, veterinary, these are the areas in which livelihood can be created. So therefore, it is all with that objective in mind. And uh, one year is not enough for us to you know, say that uh, we can change the entire scenario. It's a complete process that takes place. But I can tell you a good start has been made because the planning has been well and uh, we are on, the tr on track of uh, you know, overcoming that particular challenge. And it is really one of the main goals for any government apart from law and order, economic development, job creation is one of the main criteria. So we are working towards it and we hope that all these actions that we've taken in the last year will continue and we'll be able to achieve and create more jobs for our young generation. Nakaliang Sorkar Kalatung, Yaki Deputy Commissioner Bakin Pen, but Ban Ajin Pentep Sorkar. Issues relating to coal mining is something that is very important for us, and it's a challenge because the government is trying to balance out between uh, ecology and economy, and uh, also the overall environment, safety. Uh, and I think that aspect is something important for us. We're trying to work towards it and ensuring that uh, things can, the economy and the livelihood should not suffer, but at the same time, they are environment should not suffer also. Uh, we have challenges uh, when it comes to the social sectors like education and health. Uh, these challenges have been there for the last many, many years. So it's not that uh, these things have happened in the last 12 months. Uh, these have been there from the beginning and I think uh, we as a government, we are working towards uh, improving those aspects. Uh, it will take time, but I can assure you that our focus is there on these areas. Like that, there are many areas of, uh, of, of challenges that we face, but uh, as I said, it is, it is normal and uh, for, for the government to face these challenges and uh, we only hope that uh, we can take the things forward and improve the situation <coughs> at the grassroots level. Habakaran halo report usam ke jela na kaliang jong umintri rang ba ula penpao ba na kaliang jong sorkar kala persang banyak keren ba kesorkar asam ban wan ra iu put usam uba biang. Ula penpao ru ba kesorkar katrang ban wan ra iki roi kipar ha baro ki benta jong ke jela. Ula bernak pesusu ba kesorkar katrang ban ia dai ki brio jong ke jela kam tam iki to ki besang basa ha ki tahan kapot. This is an issue that has been there from the past. The past government uh, also had major difficulty in resolving this issue, even though they had a uh, friendly government uh, in a some side also. Uh, and it simply shows that the issue is complicated. So I think uh, for us as a government, what is important to see is number one, the safety of our people. And I think that is a, a very, very important aspect. So as a government, we need to ensure that our people are safe. Number two, I think, uh, is the aspect of development. No matter what the issue is there, no matter what kind of complications or uh, uh, disputes that we have, development is one aspect that should not be, uh, you know, that should not be affected. And the people in the border area should get the safety and get the development that any other part of the state are getting, uh, based I mean, irrespective of the claims being made by different, uh, by the two states. So I think uh, that is number one priority for us. Number two, I think at the same time, both the governments are always in dialogue and discussion, uh, whether at official level or unofficial level, we are having discussions to try to remove, uh, try to uh, uh, discuss this issue and try to find a way forward in that. But as mentioned uh, earlier, uh, this is not a very easy issue, it is complicated and uh, will take time. Uh, but discussions are on and, uh, you know, as I said, but at the same time, when this kind of issue is going on, the priority of ensuring that the safety and development should not be affected.